So here are the seven internet game changers. Game changer one is called the eight second test. You've got to know whether your website passes the eight second test. This has been extensively measured across thousands of business websites. We know that on average, 50% of all people visiting websites leave those sites within eight seconds. When someone's surfing the web and they arrive at your website, statistically, half of them are likely to leave within eight seconds. Why is that? Well, think of the phrase surfing the web. Think of how you search for something on Google. You go here, you go there. Don't you make an instant split second decision on the value of the website you've arrived at? Well, if you've only got eight seconds to keep someone's attention, you'd better be doing something pretty compelling within those eight seconds. This is the first area that most web designers, frankly, haven't got a clue about. They'll tell you about all these things you should be doing on all these multiple pages on your site, and you need all this content, you've got to have 25 pages, you've got to have a blog, but if half the audience aren't even going to scroll down the first page, that's all irrelevant if we don't keep them and maximize their attention on that page. So your whole focus and attention should be on the eight second test. You've got to be doing the right thing to make sure your website passes the eight second test. Game changer two is the big internet sales myth. It's a lie actually that we've been asked to buy into by the web design world. The myth says, build it and they will come. It says that if you and I build a really nice website and give a web designer a lot of money to look really pretty and have everything in the right place, people will come along and start throwing money at us, calling us up, emailing us, all the rest of it. Well, you may have noticed that's BS. It does not work like that. Now, you should know that some of what I say is quite controversial because my intention is really clear. I only want to do an amazing job for the entrepreneurs I work with, so I tend to tell it like it is. Sometimes people don't want to hear the truth, but this whole idea that you can sell immediately to people online does not work. I've been doing this for 20 years. We interact with hundreds of thousands of business owners. I'm telling you, it doesn't work. The idea that someone who 30 seconds ago had never heard of you is going to come to your website and immediately start throwing money at you, it doesn't work. Now, I'm not saying it will never happen. You will get occasional sales, but you won't get enough sales to guarantee the income to send a lot more traffic back to your site. That's the bad news. That approach doesn't work. The good news is there is a way of doing this that does work. It involves turning your whole approach to internet marketing 180 degrees on its head. That is to change the purpose of your website. If you really want to transform your business and stand out from the competition, you want to make the purpose of your website not to quickly get money out of a customer, but to begin a relationship with a customer. It's a fundamental difference. It's having a customer arrive at your website and instead of immediately trying to sell them something, you're giving them something of value up front. You're giving them access to information, maybe a free report or video, a sample of your product, a 20 minute phone consult with you, or whatever it may be in exchange for their email address and perhaps other contact details. This is called permission marketing. Here are the numbers. This has been measured. If you try to sell immediately online, the average sales rate is just 1%. It's one out of a hundred visitors. But if you do permission marketing, sometimes called lead generation, you can get that number up to 15%, 20%, 25%. That's an increase in potential customers of 1,000 to 2,000%. So unless you're pure e-commerce, if your site's been set up to immediately sell to people, you are going to struggle with it. It's not going to work. 
And even with e-commerce, you want to incorporate these relationship building approaches too. Game changer three is what we're doing right now. Here we are in the internet world doing online video. You must have online video on your website, but it must also be the right type of online video. Two or three years ago, you could get away with not doing it. Well, we're now in a world where if you land at a silent website, it's like going to the silent movies. It's just out of date and just doesn't work anymore. So here's a suggestion for you. Stop thinking just it's my website and think of your internet presence as your multimedia presence online. When a potential or existing customer comes to your website, they're really entering your multimedia world. You should be speaking to them in words and pictures, but also in video, and you've got to do it in the right way. We've seen video added to pages improve response by 50%, 100%, 200% and more. At the same time, if you put the wrong type of video on there, or you say things in the wrong way, it's less effective. You've got to have video, but you've got to be doing it the right way. So here's a tip for you. People ask, well, how do I do this? Where do I start? One of the best ways to do it, if you don't want to actually do what I'm doing now and be on the video, is to have somebody interview you. Have them do a 20 minute interview with you and ask you maybe the five or 10 most common questions you're asked in your business. Have someone record it and chop those 10 answers up into a few online videos. Then you're done, you've got your online video. Video also has to be in the right place and position on your site. Video is absolutely essential. Game changer four is pay-per-click advertising on Google and the other search engines. Please use Google AdWords. I know what it's like as a business owner that you're bombarded with all this stuff. Should you be doing blogs, SEO, this, that, and the other. And by the way, let me say something very briefly about SEO, search engine optimization. SEO is the practice of manipulating the search results to try to beat Google and get higher up on Google's free listings. Please don't do it. It's a terrible waste of time, effort, and resources. Do you know what you're basically being offered when people knock on your door wanting your money to do this? They're saying to you, let's take on Google. Let's take on a company that earns $15 billion a year and employs rocket scientists. We can take them on and beat them. Well, no, you can't. If you can do it, you can do it short term, but if Google finds out you're manipulating their results, they will ban your website forever. SEO is dead. It had its value a while back, but it's a terrible use of your time and money. However, pay-per-click Google AdWords is brilliant. It's the most revolutionary thing in marketing so far this century, without a doubt. Right now, as we're speaking, people are searching for you on Google, or they're searching for the type of product or service that you sell. Certainly in this hour, people are going to be searching for it. Now, if you're not there positioned up near the top of the search engines when they do that search, you're losing out big time. I spent four and a half million dollars of my own money on Google AdWords over the last few years. There is no one in the world who trains people in Google AdWords as I do, who spent that much money on it themselves. There are lots of experts who claim they know all about it, but I'm also actually doing it. Now I have two things to say to you about this. If you're not doing pay-per-click on Google yet, you've got to be doing it. It's as simple as that. If you are doing it, it's really worth you getting very, very good at it. My goal normally is to double the amount of clicks you're getting and halve the cost per click at the same time. There are all sorts of cool things you can do with pay-per-click. Game Changer 5 is a biggie. It's email marketing. People have the whole email thing completely wrong. People think I shouldn't be doing email because the customers don't want to be bombarded by email. 
Well, I'm very fortunate in my work. I get to spend time with a lot of wealthy entrepreneur millionaires, including all the people who've made their money online. And I'll tell you the interesting thing about the internet millionaires. They don't make their money just primarily from websites. Now, obviously they've got websites. You need a website, but that's not where they make their money. They make their millions from email and email marketing. When you take a step back and think about it, what you've got with email is this incredible tool to keep in touch with your potential customers week in and week out, month in and month out, literally forever. I have a group of 100 entrepreneurs I work with across the year. It's called my Gold Mastermind Group. It's like a private consulting group. And we meet three times each year. They pay $15,000 a year to be in the group. Uh, by the way, this is not a pitch for the group because we're full. But we had a meeting recently and several of them in every range of business you can imagine, from business to business to business to consumer, are doing daily emails and making it work. Now, you don't have to do daily emails, but I'm gonna hazard a guess that you're not emailing your customers enough. You must be emailing your customers at least twice a week. The secret is that there's a way of doing this where you don't just sell to them all the time. It's that word relationship again. You use email as part of building up and enhancing your relationship with your customers. Now to do email marketing effectively, this is a big subject. You need to have what's called an autoresponder in place on your website to capture people's details. That's building the relationship. And you can get 15%, 20% or 25% of people who visit your site to sign up with you immediately. But please aim to be sending at least two emails every week. Game changer six is Facebook. Now, I just wanna blow out some of the myths about Facebook because people are wasting a lot of time doing ineffective stuff on Facebook. Getting people to like you on Facebook actually has very little value. And for most businesses, it turns out it has no value. We've tested this and we've seen it. You put all this time, effort and energy in, you get them to like you, but it doesn't produce income and you should only do anything in terms of marketing and internet marketing, obviously, if it produces income. There's a whole range of smart things to do on Facebook. We'd be here for hours if we talked about them all, but let me just give you one pretty new one right now that you can do right now. You can upload your customers' email addresses into Facebook and serve messages to them in their newsfeed for pennies. This is a really cheap, effective way to reach people on Facebook. There are several elements, but that's something you do want to be doing. You do not want to be wasting huge amounts of time, effort, and money just getting people to like you. Game Changer 7 is actually a vital one that people just don't know or understand. It's to do with the pages you send people to. You're on one of those pages at the moment. Game Changer 7 is the importance of landing pages. If you're not familiar with the phrase landing page, it's the page you send certain types of web traffic to. So if you advertise on Google or you send an email out, you send them to a landing page. If you do other promotions and tell people to go to a certain page, the landing page is the page you send people to. Now, your landing page can be your home page, but it normally isn't if you're smart about it. I would suggest a mindset to think very seriously about landing pages. One of the big mistakes people make is they send everybody to the home page of their website where there's like 101 things going on. But landing pages have one core purpose. Here's an example. On this page, I'm not talking to you about a million different things. I'm just having one direct conversation with you. There are 19 things you could and should be doing with your landing page. And I want to invite you to have a way of experiencing with me both what they are and all these seven key steps. So to recap, here are our seven internet game changers. Your website must pass the eight second test. 
You need to drop the concept of just selling to people. You need to be building a relationship. You've got to be doing online video properly. You've got to be doing pay-per-click advertising. You want to have email marketing as part of your system. You need a good Facebook strategy and you need to understand landing pages.